fun game, but uh, good atmosphere for our young guys to have, um, you know, packed house, a lot of energy in the building. I thought our guys responded well um, to, to the energy. Um, but I was excited just getting contributions from a lot of guys. We, we had to scramble in, in a lot of different situations, um, playing Bays at the point guard, playing Dre at the point guard. Uh, playing Vince at the small forward instead of the power forward, uh, which is the first time we've done that this year. So, so it was a great team effort uh, and a great atmosphere, and really excited for our guys. Coach, you guys haven't had much problems as far as the offensive side of the ball. How good did it feel to get things accomplished defensive wise? Yeah, that was that's what I just told the guys. And you know, eighteen, seventeen in the fourth quarter, uh, we turned the ball over a lot. But our ability to get stops, and you know, we see Rondo get a travel call just because of our effort to close out. We see Kuzma get a travel call because of our effort to close out, and you see all five guys run to the paint on every shot to to limit their second chance opportunity. So it was good to see um, our team come out on the positive side defensively in the fourth quarter when we needed it the most. Do you ever get amazed with some of the passes that Trey makes, or is it just normal to you? Um, it's normal. That's why we drafted him. It's that's his his best skill, and I think a lot of people forget that sometimes that um, he is a very unique passer, and he's a very crafty passer, and he's now top five, top six in the NBA in assists as a rookie. And so, um, amazed? No, I, I get amazed when he turns it over because I don't think he needs to, and I think he's crafty and smart enough to, to always make the right decision, and that's the type of pressure we'll put on him. Uh, he doesn't need to have six turnovers, but he can get 14 assists every night. So, you know, finding ways to be more efficient is, is his growth, and that's the pattern we want to put him on, but uh, I think he's a unique and special passer. Coach, it was a big night tonight for John Collins and Trey Young. Uh, both catch minutes with 22 points tonight, but Trey Young seemed to be Really in a groove. A few times we saw him driving to the basket past LeBron James. What did you see out of your, your young players? As you mentioned, it's such a tight atmosphere. Well, I think they we, we've you know Trey's this is game fifty what was it fifty seven for us? Wow, it's a lot of games. Um, <laughs> he's seen every coverage, and so they were switching all of our pick and rolls. And um, you know, a lot of times when you switch, you kind of relax, and it's an easier defense uh, from a scheme standpoint. It, he caught their bigs, he caught their guys switching, standing up, and he's just attacking them as they're backpedaling or standing up. Uh, so he's seen the scheme a ton of times before, and he's able to get by the defense knowing there's not going to be anyone at the rim to protect. Uh, but I thought all our guys played well. Everybody that came in contributed. Alex Lynn had 11 points in 12 minutes. Um, you know, if it wasn't for the fouls, he would have had a longer stint. Uh, I thought Vince was great. Vince comes in and he gives you. Uh, minutes in production as a small forward for the first time. We scripted different plays today just to get him used to playing a different position. So uh, encouraged by all of our guys. Coach, you talked about all the players for tripping. What did it mean for you to once again have six guys in double figures? And do you look forward to seeing that kind of atmosphere that you saw tonight on a regular basis here at State Farm? Yeah, uh, I guess I have to give them more days off. That was the way we got our spirit back. Um, you know, that's the tough part of the year heading into All-Star break trying to figure out how to come out and perform with that type of energy, that type of efficiency and production from each guy. Uh, bottom line is we have to do it together. And every night it's going to be someone different stepping up and having a big game and a productive game. And um, When you have multiple players, six, seven, eight players in double figures, uh, that means the ball is moving, the guys are sharing the basketball, and, and we're making simple, easy plays for each other. And so you're encouraged when you see it. You just want to try and sustain it as much as we can. Coach? Uh, given the fact that the Hawks, uh, it's very difficult to make the playoffs, uh, do you consider this win as the best win you know of the year that will help you know the, the young guys grow, especially against a team that is desperate, you know, that was desperate to win, to make the playoffs tonight? Um, beginning of the year, one of the things I talked about, there's no easy win in the NBA, and um, you know we're excited about beating any team. And it's not it's not who's on the other side, it's just about us and trying to find ways to get better, trying to find ways to get wins. Uh, we'll, we'll take every win and call it the best win of the year. And the best part of the win is that we did it together and there's a lot of guys that contributed. Um, this is the most 
energetic crowd and game and atmosphere, uh, but it doesn't make it the best win. You know, we, we always try and find ways where it could have been better, should have been better, and we'll learn from it. But uh, we'll take every win we can get. You, you went to John and Amari on LeBron throughout the game, always for, for big portions of the game. Was that what, what did you see on the film to go and make put a big guy on LeBron like that? Um, in 43 minutes, he had 16 assists. And, you know, having coached him for three years and being around him, you know, when he can pick you apart with his passing, you know, that's when you're in most trouble. And so uh, putting a bigger body on him, uh, you, you hope he becomes more of a scorer. And it's weird to say that with, with LeBron because you got to pick and choose. Uh, but having a bigger body that is, you know, harder to pass around, he's got to fill them when he does drive. And we want him attacking our bigs and, and, and keep him from being more of a facilitator. Even with that being said, he had 28 points, 16 assists. So there's no easy way of guarding him. We just wanted to use our size to disrupt him as much as we can. And uh, I thought Amari did a good job for a rookie in LA defending him. And I thought John and Dwayne and Amari did a good job tonight as well. 28, 16, and 11 is just kind of par for course with LeBron. So you, you have to take your wins where you can get them. Coach, uh, first quarter there for you guys, 10 for 17 from uh, from three-pointers. What was uh, working for you guys that you guys were able to kind of get in that rhythm there? I just thought, you know, it's, Trey, Trey is always going to be the guy that starts us off. And, you know, when he can play with the pace we want to play with and he can create the convergence of the defense, you know, just bringing and collapsing defenders, he's going to have whatever he wants in terms of shooters out there. And, uh, being able to get to the rim when they don't help. And so when he plays that way and he collapses the defense and we get one or two to go down, you know, I think all the guys get shot ready and they get excited. And that was the start of it. And the ball just starts moving. It's, it's an energy that the ball creates that we create with our pace and our movement. And when shots go down, it, it looks better. But it's really about the pass and the movement. And the results will come if we play that way.